are looking at in agriculture. We have Mexican hotels, lots of Spanish hotels. We have other hotels that are in Jamaica. And they need to feed their guests. Mm -hmm. We also have a, a development in the world where many people, especially in the United States and Europe, don't want to eat things that have gluten in it from wheat and so on. So we have, and you might have it here in Mexico because the climate is not similar, a fruit called breadfruit it grows on a very tall tree. But what we don't do now in Jamaica is have an orchard of breadfruits. Her house has one, I have one. We need 500 acres, a thousand acres of breadfruit. Because from that fruit, you make flour, no gluten. From that fruit, you make the slices that you, we use with our breakfast and other meals in Jamaica. And Americans and Europeans love it. So we need investors and agro-processors. And Mexico is well down the road with this. You have equipment, you have investors, you know Jamaica. We want to have that, but we also want to have investors do something that you know very well, avocado. We need to have other orchards of another 2,000, 3,000 acres of avocados, like you have. So we have, in, we have opportunities for investors, but more important, Mr. President, we have markets for these products. So we don't have to worry. There's something else that we grow called ackee. This fruit, if it is closed and you eat it, it's very poisonous. It has to be opened, and then naturally, then you take out the black seed, and you take out the little red part, and you cook it. And when you cook it, it tastes like eggs. And and um, our tourists love it, but importantly, Jamaica has less than three million people. In our diaspora, we have more than three million people. All of them want that. So. They, when I went to the United States, one of my business staffs there, they said to us, the demand for Aki is so strong, we would want 20, 40 foot containers every six weeks. So we have demand that has to be met. And we're looking for Mexican uh, investors and agro-processors, not just to grow the foods, but to process them and make them into the products that, that the, the market wants. So we have opportunities for Mexican investors in areas that you know well. You know, you know agriculture, you know agro-processing, you have equipment, and so it makes sense for us to look to you so when, when Shalette and her team will come back, um, the meetings that she wants to have upstairs will be for people like that, mm -hmm. in addition to other ones that you will have in the knowledge industry. Yeah.